Now with the violence in the Middle East, eyes on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. You're taking a live look onto the Capitol there on the right hand side of your screen. The U.S. making some moves today in response. National correspondent Christine Frizzell breaks down what the U.S. is doing and a warning some viewers may find this video disturbing. An unexpected and unrelenting attack on Israel <laughs> by the militant group Hamas. This is Israel's 9-11. The fear palpable at this music festival near the Gaza Strip, where some in attendance are believed to have been taken hostage, others killed instantly. There's no code, there's no, there's no mercy, there's nothing. This was just straight up butchering. It's not even war, this is a massacre. Yes, we I spoke to Army gate. Reservist Idan and Dugan, now stationed at a settlement just near the, the Gaza Strip. So he took a grandma on a golf cart. In the family's golf cart, you see couples getting torn apart. You see kids dying. Women are getting dragged by their hair. I don't even want to think what they did to them. Snapshots of the aftermath telling a story of fear. This police station for a brief time under the control of Hamas militants before being taken back by Israeli defense forces as the world watches and waits for the next chapter of this war to unfold. Men and women and children dragged across the border uh, into into Gaza, including a Holocaust survivor in a wheelchair. The White House vowing additional aid. The U.S. deploying the largest warship in the world to the region for support. The United States stands with Israel. We will not ever fail to have their back. It's a pledge made more difficult by the instability on Capitol Hill with no Speaker of the House and many Republicans blaming the Biden administration for what they see as a far too lenient approach toward Iran. We do know that Iran is behind this. They have financed this every step of the way, and they've trained uh, these terrorists. That statement now confirmed by Hamas leaders, with some other critics taking it further. The United States is giving and gave to Iran six billion dollars, six billion, over, over hostages. Top White House officials pushing back. Not a single cent has been spent from that account. When any money is spent from that account, it can only be used for medical supplies, for food, for medicine. And those who are saying otherwise are either misinformed or misinforming. The war of words in Washington, though, overshadowed by an all-out war in Israel. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.